Welcome back to another episode of Woolly TV. And today we got the Slater Designs Great White Twin. I've gone the 6.0 at 36 litres and I've been running it with this little fin combo here. I have run it as a pure twin, but I do like it more with the trailer, especially when it gets overhead. Let's see how it goes. If you're in WA, don't forget to support the brands that support us. Star Surf and Skate, starsurf.com.au, biggest range of surfboards in WA. We can ship them to you anytime you like. Pack them that day, get them out next business day. They'll be to you as quick as It's a two plus one. It's really clustered, as you can see. Rails are super pinched. It's quite a deep concave through the middle of the board. Nice hip in it, almost a stinger type of hip with a foiled little area through here as well. Thinner tail and really pulled in swallow as well. So you'll notice that it's um, yeah, definitely not a wide swallow, so it should hold really well. I'm watching, watching Slater and the other guys ride it. It looks, looks a lot of fun. So I'm gonna get in the water, see how it goes. So first surf on the Great White and the volcanic construction definitely didn't feel big. As soon as I jumped on it, it was a 6.0, 36 litres. I jumped on it and started paddling. Definitely doesn't feel like 36 litres. So don't buy it, get your normal performance board dims in this board. It's kind of like the flat earth. If you had a flat earth, you went up two or three litres. It's definitely the same sort of thing in this. So the 6.0 felt a treat for me. The rails are quite pinched. Uh, first thing I noticed on my first wave, it just held super well off the bottom, really free off the top, hold off the bottom, free off the top. So, yeah, you can definitely, that little trailer holds it in. Got the big Kelly fins in it, so that combo felt really good. I don't think I'll muck around with fins much at all. I think that combo's pretty much spot on for me. But so far, so good. No deck dents on it at all. Barely a bump. Handled the onshore, handled the glassy conditions, no problems, overhead, good times.
had another surf on it. So I've had one surf on the left, then I had a little couple of waves on it over east on right hander. Both those times I was riding it with a, uh, the twin, the endorphins, and a twin plus one with a little trailer. Uh, in the bigger surf on my backhand, felt great. And then when I jumped on it on the east coast and a little right hand, it felt a bit bit tight. So I pulled that one out. And that surf there, I just rode the twins only. Um, and I found it kind of a little bit too loose for me on my forehand. I, a couple of turns, I just didn't quite get the tail the rail set properly and in the end, I couldn't push through my turns without the stabiliser in there. So I'm gonna throw the stabiliser back in if the surf's around that sort of chest, shoulder high mark or bigger. Mm -hmm. um, and then if I get smaller, I'll try it again. In the smaller ones, wasn't as important. I think it was okay, really loose and, and sort of slidey through turns. But you'll notice from that footage today that was a couple of turns where I sort of pushed through and slid and um, didn't quite get a grip on it. I think the fins, I might have to try a bigger set of ENs in there, Futures or something, but I think for me, just popping that little tiny trailer in there will help, but board felt good, super fast, good fun. So, another surf down on that one. Stay tuned for another one. Let's hope this thing doesn't find any of its mates out there. Board went too fast for this old body, I couldn't keep up. <laughs> kind of pretty solid out there. We're only catching the small ones, so that'll give you an indication of what, how big the bigger ones are. Kind of bigger ones aren't real good, you just cop them on the head. I like the way it holds, it's got plenty of hold for a 20. I think that little stabiliser and the, the flyer and the pulled in swallow really helps through turns and holds you in. Got a sick left, felt really good on that left. Couple of belts. Anyway, time for another surf on it. Yoo! Great white 6036 liters. Definitely preferred it as a uh, with the trailer in there. So I had the endorphins in the front. I've been running this little futures trailer because I seem to like that in a lot of boards. It has heaps of hold when you like that. When it's a pure twin, I did find a little slidey once it got around head high. 
It didn't grovel for me all that well. I preferred it when it was around shoulder high and bigger and even had it in some you know, overhead surf that were powerful where I'd normally run a performance board and it went pretty good. Anyway, thanks guys at Slater.